everybody. I'm Kyle Kramer, the CEO of the Earth and Spirit Center. Wearing my normal red shirt, I'm realizing that in almost every video, I'm wearing the same red shirt. So this this must be my my video shirt. But uh, I'm joined today by Dr. Tony Zippel. Hey, Tony. Good to be here, Kyle. Oh, it's good to record with you again. I love doing these videos together. And I'm waiting for your, um, is it Great Pyrenees? Oh, my Great Pyrenees, yeah. Your, your Great Pyrenees to come into frame. Uh, especially uh, for another video that we may record soon. But um, we want to talk today about a fantastic course that you have coming up called The Science of Changing Your Brain for Happiness. Uh, we all need a little bit of that um, it, for on our mindfulness journey. So eager to talk about that with you. Uh, this is a six-week course that's that's coming up this fall, starting in early November. But um, before we get into the details of the course, Tony, I'd love to get into the details of you. For those who don't know you as one of our, our, our regular uh, mindfulness instructors, uh, can you just give a few words about your own professional journey and your background with mindfulness and, and happiness? Um, I'd love to hear more. Sure. Well, I'm a, I'm a psychologist by training and have spent most of my career running large community behavioral health organizations, so sort of C-suite stuff, but have always been interested in, you know, how do we help people to have a good life in spite of the challenges that they faced? In my work as uh, with mental health centers, I, I've had a special interest in people with very severe mental illnesses, for example, and we, we don't know how to cure those. So the question is, how can you help people to have a great life in spite of the fact that they have a disability that is not going to get fixed in the short term? That's like a specialized version, I think, of the challenge all of us face. We all face difficult things in life. We all experience stress and pain and trauma. That's just a fact. The question is, what are things that we can do that help us to be happy in spite of the fact that we live in a world where bad things happen? Hmm. Well, I'm, uh, you are so exquisitely good at that, and you're absolutely right. I mean, who, who of us does not limp in some way in our, in our physical health and our mental health journeys? Uh, yes. So let, let's talk about this class. This is a, uh, what we have uh, put in the, the bucket or the category of our continuing meditation class. So to, be, to, to be clear, um, uh, it's not a meditation class per se, but it is a class for those who may be familiar with our programming and uh, wanting to kind of continue their own formation on their, let's just call it their mindfulness journey, which really, I mean, is a journey of introspection and uh, uh, self-reflection and and kind of intentionality about how how you live one your life in general. That that's my shorthand. So it's a continuing meditation class. It starts in November. What um, what kind of uh, experiences are you inviting folks into? Uh, and what kind of goals do you have for the class? And I maybe a, a, a question prior to that is. Who is a likely candidate for a class like this? Uh, I, I named a kind of a broad category of those interested in personal growth. Do you have any more specific audience in mind? I, I, you know, Kyle, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's really a, a, a useful program for anybody that wants to be a little bit happier. And that's <laughs> you know, kind in. of all of us, right? Uh, uh, so I think it's a good fit with anybody. There, there's no uh, uh, requirements for doing other kinds of things in advance. You don't even have to have a, a, a particular meditation practice. You're right. It's not a meditation course per se, but there's a lot of how do you be present and how do you, you know, settle into what's really happening and going on in the world around you and your life at this moment. So there are meditation mindfulness elements to it, but it's not, you know, we're going to sit on a cushion and practice meditation course. Right. I appreciate you bringing that up, Tony, because um, I, I think some folks uh, conflate meditation with mindfulness. And they, there's there's definitely overlap there. Obviously, uh, there are forms of mindfulness meditation and we and we teach them quite thoroughly here. But uh, what I hear you saying and what I also believe is that the whatever your meditation practice uh, may be or may not be, there are ways to bring mindfulness into the elements of your day to day life that don't require cushion sitting per se and and uh, can be very effective even if someone's not drawn to or skilled in the the more formal elements of meditation itself is that would you agree absolutely right and we'll talk about about some strategies that are really 
you know, 60, 90, 120 second moments that we can repeat multiple times across the day uh, uh, that are really helpful. Excellent. Well, again, this this class uh, is is in our continuing meditation series. It's called The Science of Changing Your Brain for Happiness. And uh, I love the subtitle here, Making Inner Peace, Resilience and Joy a Habit. You have you have hit all the right notes there, Tony. Uh, folks uh, can sign up on our website, earthandspiritcenter.org, or at the link that's provided in this uh, video. Again, this is a course that's going to run Monday evenings, 7 to 8.30, starting November 4th and uh, uh, here at the barn. So, Tony, we're really excited for, for this um, new iteration of, of a version of a course that you have taught with us in the past. So with, I think, some new and improved content and uh, just really grateful uh, and excited for, for us to get going on this. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thanks for the opportunity, Kyle.